Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is about quarter past eight. Leia is going home this morning, um, so I'm just gathering all her bits together. Um, I've stripped off our bed uh, so I can wash the bedding and have non-dog furry bedding. <laughs> we will miss her a lot. She, I know she's been difficult at times, but she's also been adorable. Um, and she's a very sweet dog. So yeah, she's going home. Um, Kenzie is feeling really rubbish. He's now got earache, a temperature, but he's gone in. He's got two exams. My dad can pick him up. I just hope he makes it through both exams. And he's got one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So it's spread out. It's not even one after the other. Um, I have a, an appointment with the doc to discuss his blood test, which showed nothing for why he was feeling so fatigued and what have you. Leia, get your head out of that basket. Thank you. And um, so, I'm going to have a chat with her and I'm going to ask her to prescribe antibiotics because ears are his weakness. He's, I'm sure he's got an ear infection, his temperature's gone up, like I said, and his cough's come back a lot worse. And to top it off, I've had a rough night because I think I'm coming down with whatever he's got because my ears have been funny for weeks in that this one doesn't feel completely unblocked, but it also doesn't feel completely blocked. Um, but my throat's been hurting. And I couldn't breathe properly in the night if I lay down. So yeah, I'm feeling, starting to feel pretty rubbish myself. Nowhere near as bad as he's been feeling. But uh, I looked on my Fitbit and all my health metrics are out this morning, completely out this morning. So that does show that my body is struggling with something. Um, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then I start working 15 minutes and Leia should also be going in the next 15 minutes. Leia's just gone home. So I've brought these wooden things down because Ozzy and Harrison were really into these yesterday. And I've got Ozzy again today and his brother. So um, I've brought those down because I know she won't chew them now because she's not here. Um, and I've brought the bear because I had kept him on the windowsill during the Jubilee because I was just worried she'd rip him up. Um, and then I've got the Lego out. Picked up all the ripped up bits. I need to go and feed those fishies in a minute. My second cup of tea of the day. I actually came down at six o'clock and made one. I'd been awake since about quarter past five this morning and at about half six, I was like, I need tea. So I made tea for everybody. Kenzie was up as well at quarter to six. Right. You're putting the horse to bed. You just put a dead fly to bed. Did you cover him up? Oh, where's the horse going? Clip, clop, clip, clop. Wow, that's a clever horse climbing up there. I'm chasing. Is he chasing? Chase, chase. What are you building, Finfin? Fin? Chase, I told you. Oh, a house you told me. All right then. <laughs> that told me, didn't it? Archie's in a good mood, aren't you, Archie? <laughs> oh, are you eating the flash? What were you saying to me? Poor Kenzie, weren't you? Yeah. Poor Kenzie. Poor Kenzie. Yeah. We've rung the doctors, haven't we? And we got him a doctor's appointment. And my dad's going to take him to the doctors. Take that out of your mouth, you. My dad's going to take him to the doctors, um, which I'm so incredibly grateful for. He's going to pick him up after his exam, take him to the doctors, and just push the fact that ear, ear problems are something that... Uh, he suffers with we always end up needing antibiotics and that he's been poorly for over a week now and it's got getting worse again so I'm really hoping they will prescribe something for him to help him because obviously he's got these exams the woman on the counter was really helpful um, the receptionist and she said her daughter's doing exams as well so um, she knows that this is like a real crucial point for them so I'm really glad she's fitted him in my dad will pick him up my dad will take him and then I'm I'm hoping Kenzie instead of going to the revision classes we'll just go and lay down at my parents maybe for half an hour and then go to the afternoon exam get some rest between them um, I'm really grateful to my dad I'm very grateful because it would have been impossible for me to get this lot to town pick him up take him you know it just would have been an absolute nightmare um, and then the other alternative would have been Lee having to come out of work, which causes problems in itself. So, yeah. Right. We're going to carry on playing, aren't we, Archie? I'm just finishing my tea. Archie.
Hi. Did you go on an aeroplane, Archie? Yeah. Did you? Did it fly in the sky? Mm. Archie went on an aeroplane, Harrison. Um, he went on an aeroplane. He went. Mm. Where's Archie gone? You gonna go, boo? Close your eyes. <gasps> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Boo. <laughs> Ready? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Where's Archie? Uh, there he is. Finn, come here. Show us your new tattoos that you've got. So you're covered in tattoos, aren't you? Show me your new Jubilee ones. Which ones did you get the Jubilee? This one. Soldier and... This one. And a Corgi. You are kind of covered in tattoos, aren't you? Do you think you'll have real tattoos when you're older? You do? You think. You do think? You think. What, that you'll have them or that I will have them? I... I... Well, um, I think you might. You yeah. like tattoos, don't you? I don't want them. I don't like needles. And you have to use a sharp needle for tattoos. Not like these stick-on ones. You have to have needles with ink in them. Lots of, like, little injections. And I don't like the idea of that. I don't like needles. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think you would mind having the needles put in? You'd have to, to have a tattoo. <laughs> Do you think you will have any piercings, like earrings or nose rings or tongue ring or a belly ring? I've got a belly ring. Oh, okay. He needs some more for dinner, does he? No. Do you think you'll have any? No. No, not for you. Mummy's got a belly ring, hasn't she? Mummy's just had a piercing on her belly, Aussie. Yeah. Oh, okay. eating cheese. Yeah. Um, one in her belly. Oh, Lulu has. Auntie yum, Lulu. Yum. I've got one too, Finn. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. What's he eating? Oh, they've both got cheese. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Where does cheese go? No. No, thank you, Ozzy. Please don't throw it at me. Hey, there you go. Are you joining in? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you do too, Oz. Okay. There's a red ball there as well, Finn. Everyone sitting so beautifully at the table. Carrying a sticker. Yeah, that's right. You get stickers for sitting and eating at the table, don't you? Yeah, he will get a sticker. And I get. I think you'll all get a sticker for sitting so nicely at the table. Time to fold up the laundry. And some cloths for the bathroom. Some clothes. Clothes. How are your sandwiches going there, mister? Or your cereal bar? Yeah. Yum, yum. Yeah. Oh, look, matching socks. What colour are these? Yeah. What colour? Red. Well done. Red socks. Red, red, red. Red socks, well done. What colour are these socks? Brown. Brown. White. And green. These ones are Kenzie's socks. Uh, I don't know where my socks are. I've just come in here and the boys are reading a magazine together. What have you found? What do you want to show me? Birds. That's a house martin, Ozzy. Bird. Can you, can you say bird? Bird. House, house Martin. Bed. 
Martin. Yeah, House Martin. Should we see what other birds we can find? Yeah. Oh, flowers. <gasps> What's that? Spider. Spider. What's this? It's a spider. There is a spider. Yeah. What's this? Spider. That's not a spider. What is it? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. And oh, what's this down here? Right. It's a caterpillar. 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 Fire. 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 Are you two helping me with the clean washing? It's out. Uh, that can't go in. I tell you what. Actually, it can because it's a bit broken. Archie, you go over there, and I'll throw you the things, and you can put them in because I not everything goes in the dryer. Good boy. There's a sock. That can go in. That's it. Go put it in then. That's it. Well done. Good boy. Thank you for your help. There's nothing That's it. Now you can shut the door, Archie. I think Archie wanted to shut it. Okay, you need to push that in. No, you have to push the clothes in. You have to push the clothes in, otherwise it won't work. You push the clothes in. Push. Look, there's clothes hanging out. It won't shut if you've got that hanging out. That's it. Good boy. Then give it a big push. Right, let Archie press the button. Archie, you can come press this button, please. Archie, do it. Oh, how about Archie? No? Okay, oh, Finn, do it then. Yay! High five! Good job. Good job. Thanks for your help. Whoa! I'll do that again. Hi, too slow. Ha, too slow. Ha, too slow. <laughs> Afternoon, you lovely lot. It's about... 10 to 1. I've put the kids down for naps. Uh, Archie is asleep. He has been amazing today. Bearing in mind, well, it's probably one of the best days he's had. And considering he's been away for two weeks, that's really, like, I really expected today to be very difficult. We've had a fantastic time together. Uh, he's joined in and done loads of things with the other kids. Um, the noise you can hear is his, is his white noise thing. He's asleep next to me. Um, Kenzie's seen a doctor. My dad took Kenzie to the doctor. They can't see an infection, but his ears are completely blocked, which is not new for Kenzie. I mean, I don't think he's ever had unblocked ears, but they don't syringe the ears, which is really annoying, and I know that. They've not done it for a long time. But they did say we can pay to have it done privately, which actually Lee's nan mentioned to me a few weeks ago. Um, and they do it in the local uh, health whatever it's called, therapy clinic. So I'm going to give them a call and get that booked in to relieve some of the pressure. And then they will take photos of the eardrums and what have you, apparently, and we can see if there's any damage done to them. Um, he has been given antibiotics because they appreciate the fact that this is a weakness for him. He does have a temperature. He's clearly been unwell for a little while and he's in the middle of his exams. So they have prescribed antibiotics, which they've electronically sent through to the chemist, which... I mean, it's been a long time since I've needed a prescription or done it that way. Normally, my medication that I get is ongoing, so I just use an app for that. But, um, yeah, this has gone electronically through, and my dad or Kenzie don't seem to know when they can pick it up. Kenzie said later. So I've asked Lee to check in on his way home from work to see if it's ready and pick it up, and then we can get him a good couple of doses of antibiotics in. Um, he's going to have a rest at my parents, and then my dad's going to take him for his exam at one something and then my dad said he'd pick him up after his exam and take him bring him back here so he doesn't have to wait for the bus and stuff and he can just have a shower and go to bed um and relax so oh, my dad has been an absolute lifesaver this afternoon i have to say i would have really struggled to find a way to get him seen by a doctor um whilst working and lee working so i'm eternally grateful to my dad for that he's really uh really helped Okay, I'm going to rest and drink a cup of tea for a bit. I've changed the bedding. I've washed the bedding. It's no longer covered in dog fur. <laughs> I do miss her, though. I really do. Um, and, yeah, I've put the bedding back on, but it's white bedding. My eczema was playing up, and I caught my finger. So now there are a couple of bits on the edges of the bed clothes that have blood on. Brand clean, new white bedding's got blood on it from my finger. Oh well. Anywho, anywho, I need to rest for a bit now because I'm flagging. <laughs> you got the same colour blues on. 
You like matching? Colour coordinated. And, and I'm so green socks and he got a green top. He does. It's 20 to 6 and Malone's just gone home. It's been quite a chilled afternoon. Um, I don't have many children and I normally have Sam, but Sam had boxer size, I think it was, um, this afternoon. So I didn't have Sam. Um, so it's been quite quiet. Malone spent a good hour on his Father's Day card. I need to insert a little picture of something from the Father's Day card. Honestly, I don't even think context is going to help here. So I'm not even going to give you any context because I don't want to give away what it actually is in case his dad sees this video. But I did send them this picture. Make of that what you will. <laughs> Gave me a giggle anyway. Um, I know what it is. It just doesn't look like what it's meant to be. Um, Kenzie's eaten. He came in. My dad dropped him off. He's I've cooked him dinner and he's eaten really well. And he said he's feeling a bit better. Lee's picked up his antibiotics. Um, so that's good. Kenzie can start those this evening and hopefully get a couple of doses in him um, before tomorrow's exam. Two exams. And then on Saturday, I've managed to get him an appointment with a private practice that deals with audiology. Um, and they do all sorts of ear care stuff. And one of the things they do is they suck out the muck from your ears and then check your ears to make sure that there's no damage like your eardrums and everything else and just give it a good once over and report on any concerning things that they can see but just reducing the pressure in his ears because he's always suffered with blocked ears um is going to make a huge difference so i've booked him in for that it's about 85 pounds um and if they don't do anything, if they just look and they don't do anything, it doesn't cost anything. But um, it's £85 for the treatment. Um, so definitely worth paying for. I am a bit cross that they don't do it at the doctors anymore because not everybody is in a position, especially at the moment, the way things are, to be able to pay to have it done privately. And so I think that is a little bit, it's wrong. At the moment, I feel like the only way you can get treatment for a lot of things is privately. Um, and that means that there are a lot of people out there that aren't getting the support or the treatments they need um, because they're not fortunate enough to have some spare cash to do that with. Um, and yeah, I don't think people should be in that position when it comes to your health. Um, and I had my hospital appointment via the phone this afternoon as well. And the kids were really good. They were doing their snacks and doing their Father's Day cards and watching a bit of telly and things. So they were really good. They let me have this phone conversation. I think I was on the phone for about 20 minutes. She has said that she wants to see me because, I mean, I say that I think my joints and everything are to do with the wheat, like my joint pain. Um, but she flagged up when I mentioned about my eczema, possibly psoriasis on my elbows. She asked about, does the rain ice make my skin bad on my fingers? I said, my skin's always been bad around my fingers. So it's really hard to tell whether it's rain ice that's made any of it worse. But sometimes my fingers are worse than others. And I do pick it. So I don't know. I couldn't give her a definitive answer as to whether or not any, any of those callousy bits or blistery bits were ever anything to do with Reynards um, after an episode of Reynards um, and then I happen to mention that I really struggle with sleeping that I have a lot of pain um, I have jumpy legs which she wasn't too concerned about she said she didn't think there was anything more than that but um, the fact that I have a lot of pain I can wake up in the night and have really bad like my knees were in agony for about 10 minutes the other night now I put a cushion between them but it they felt locked and I get it with my joints they feel locked and they hurt and I can wake up and I can wake up and struggle to the bathroom hobbling 
And I do know, I'm sure, I mean, it improves when I don't eat wheat, but I've never been diagnosed with any kind of gluten intolerance. It's purely just, I've noticed an improvement in my joints and what have you, if I don't eat wheat. Um, but I've never been tested or anything. So it's just, that's why I'm not really strict on it because it's not an actual condition. It's just, I notice that things improve when I don't eat it. And then I get naughty and I eat stuff that I shouldn't. And then I start to ache a bit more. But um, after I'd said a few of these things, the joint pain, the, you know, the, it's not, you can't actually see it too bad at the moment. Um, but you know, the flaky, skin and what have you there and the fingers she said she wants to run a whole new set of bloods for me because there is something that doesn't show up in bloods it's a type of arthritis and it doesn't show up in bloods but because there's autoimmune there's an autoimmune condition that runs through our family it's three generations it's affected now um directly my nan my aunt my sister so it's like a direct doof, 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 doof. It's not skipped any generations and um, so yeah she said we really don't want to miss anything so they're going to call me in and in the meantime I need to keep a diary of my skin and I need to keep a diary of my pain and my sleep and what have you so um, I'm still feeling coldy but not too bad it's nowhere near as bad as how it was for poor Kenzie and I think I'm just going to go and make myself some cereal or something now because I can't be bothered to cook. I cooked for Kenzie, but I can't be bothered to cook for me. So I'm going to go and have some cereal or some toast, uh, gluten-free toast. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and have a shower, wash my hair. And we've got season nine of Blacklist to watch. And I think we also have Lois and Clark, I think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all tomorrow.